And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my trailer reaction and review for the brand new Super Bowl ad for Fast 9. Now, Fast 9 originally was supposed to come out last year, but due to the what's going on with the world, got pushed back. Basically, this year was supposed to be Fast 10, but now we have to wait a whole other year for that one. But, um... I'm so excited to see Fast and Furious 9. Um, I'm a huge fan of all these films. They get with, you know, I feel like Universal and like Paramount or wherever Tom Cruise makes his um, Mission Impossible movies, they open their, each other's windows like, hey, we can outbid you with this stunt. Or, yeah, Tom can do this. Well, Dom can do this. I, I, I don't know. I feel like every time they do a crazy stunts in their movies, it, it just gets crazier and crazier. And it's awesome. So, we all know in the new, the last trailer we saw from Fast and Furious, Dom has a brother, played by John Cena. Han is back, and we still don't know why. And um, there were so many questions, so many answers. We, we only had one trailer, so technically this is like trailer two. Maybe a little sneak peek. Hopefully we'll get a full-length new trailer in a, in a couple of months before the movie comes out. But um, let's see what we got. This thing's really quick, so if I have to go back... To see if I see anything, I'm gonna go back a little play by play here because honestly, this is 30 seconds, so um, who knows what we're gonna see, but let's see what we get. The world has a way of changing. Okay, the house. But there's one thing. Whoa, what the? Was that, wait, was that Brian? Hold on, I'm going back. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, folks. I gotta go back. I'm gonna pause. But there's one thing. That's Brian O'Connor! Paul's back! Now, we all know, obviously, Paul Walker no longer with us, but. I can I just paused it and clearly see Paul Walker's character, Brian O'Connor here. Obviously, Mia's back, so it makes sense. Is this the ending of the of the movie? It always stays the same. You miss your life. Okay. Every day. Uh oh. Oh. Hello, Mira. Nice. Oh. Wow. What? Wow. First of all, that happened really too quickly for 30 seconds. And, um, did they just spoil the ending? I'm sorry. Does Fast and Furious ever do that? Normally, they, they spoil the big, like, oh my god, look at the big stunt. Or, or this, this, and that. They never spoil the ending. What was that about? If that was the ending, they just spoiled the ending. OMG. Is Brian back? Now, obviously, Paul Walker can't actually film anything because he's no longer with us. But his brothers can. And they could do motion capture like they did last time. And if this is just for one scene at the end, it's perfect. But why would you spoil the end? If this is the ending. No. Shame on you, Universal. Shame on you. Vin Diesel, what are you guys doing? Now, we get it. You know, when you spoil the big stunt, that's awesome. We, we don't care. We love the stunts no matter what. But spoil the end of the movie? Now, it could be exaggerating. And this could be the beginning of the movie for all I know. Maybe Brian's in the beginning of the movie. And then, oh, bye, honey. I'll take care of the kids. And then he she leaves with the team and do their adventure. Maybe. But if that's the ending, come on. Why? Why show it? Out of everything they could have shown in this little teaser, they show us that. They could okay, they couldn't at least show the house being rebuilt. I get that. That'd be cool. And then at the ending, show it's already fixed. But they just showed us the end of the movie. I believe that's the end of the movie that they're showing us. Now, you know, like I said, you know, before, but I could be over over exaggerating with this, but still, Universal don't do that. Shame on you, Universal. Come on, you know better. You know better. But still excited. I'm still excited. But man, I wanted the whole Paul Walker's character, Brian O'Connor's back at the end to be a surprise for the audience. If this is going to be on streaming, theaters, if it's safe to go back to see it. Oh my God, Brian's back. But seeing the trailer, you know, some people are going to be like, wait, I didn't see him there. Well, that's good. If you didn't see it, you didn't see it. That's cool. But for me, as a fan, I noticed these things. I saw it right away. I'm like, wait a minute. That's why I had to go back and look at it. 
and I paused it. That's Brian. I'm sorry I'm spoiling it for you, but it's clearly in the teaser, little teaser that it just gave us. Okay, you're not going to have a family get-together without Brian. I mean, obviously, no, yes. But, you know, Mia's back. Why would they bring back Mia if they're not going to eventually bring back Paul Walker's character? You know, he's been gone for so long now, you know. And, you know, it's been two, three movies without him. Makes sense to bring him back for the last two to say goodbye because apparently 10's the last one. But, come on. Save it for 10. I don't know. I mean, I may be reading into this too much, but I'm just shocked that they did this. That's like saying bring in the rock at the last, at the end of this trailer, and then hey guys, the rock is back. They don't do that. No, shame on you, Universal and Vin Diesel. You know better too if you tweet him at that. But like, why just spoil that? Maybe he doesn't know that they just spoiled Brian's comeback. Anyway, it looks great though. I cannot wait. I'm still excited. I want to know why Jacob. Tom, uh, Dom's brother, played by John Cena, is so angry at him. I want to know why Han's back. I want to know how he came back. What's next? Giselle's going to pop up back up, played by Gil Gadot. Who knows? We obviously know now that Brian's back. How, how much screen time is he going to have? Is it going to be just the end? Is it going to set up the tent? Is The Rock going to call in? Are we going to get, like, another celebrity big actor in this movie that we haven't seen yet? Like, wow, I can't believe they just did that. But I'm still excited. But, um, yeah, that just happened. <laughs> I apologize for the little rant, but I love Fast and Furious a lot. It's my favorite, one of my favorite franchises. But, um, I hate when I hate when movies do that when they just spoil big surprises like that, especially with characters we haven't seen, and especially with actors who are no longer with us, and you bring back their characters. Sometimes it, it could be disrespectful depending on how they do it. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I how I see it, but it's there. It just happened, and we'll find out the truth when the movie actually comes out. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this little quick little tease of Fast and Furious 9, and are you guys surprised that Paul Walker's character is back? Are you guys not surprised? Did this, that spoil anything for you? Am I, going, am I completely crazy, and this is basically nothing? It could be somebody else. Han would not hug anybody like that unless, unless it's somebody he hasn't seen. And since in the first trailer, Brian wasn't there, it only makes sense to be Brian. So, well, anyway, I'm sorry for the little rant. And um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. And let me know what you guys think about the whole Paul Walker situation. I mean, we knew eventually he was going to come back. But at least show us as a surprise. Don't show us in the trailer. You might as well put him in the next trailer to wrap up the, you know, the, you know, the marketing for it. <laughs> it's already spoiled, so go figure. I don't know. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.